for people uh, with a similar goal and their background can be different but the objective that they are going for uh, is same and um, they can have a different education background they can have for a different uh, caste color creed religion whatever you you name it they can be from different parts of the world but they join together to get uh, you know interactive uh, excellence um, so this is something which is happening since last uh, almost 10 years i'm looking at it and uh, this you know you are one is one but when you have the second person joining your you in a team then you are no more two you are much more than that so this is a the collective effort of like minded people so the number of people can be minimum two and maximum can be you know limited to about 20 or less this is a uh, I have joined some mastermind coaching uh, from America and I've seen uh, the bigger group is it, it gets out of control. So, uh, as I said, I'll be having uh, uh, two mastermind coaching uh, per month. Um, it is not exactly, you know, the first week or the second week of the month. It is all upon the availability. And uh, inshallah, I'm going to give you a uh, few days, uh, four or five days, because I'm traveling a lot. I've just come back from Morocco. And then again, I'm traveling after three days to Bahrain. So once I come back from Bahrain, we'll have our second session, either end of uh, February or beginning of March. So now I would uh, give you some task and I would like you to write it down. And whenever you are in the mastermind uh, group, have a piece of paper and a pencil because you are looking at me or you want to do the best thing is to do the recording or I will send you the recording. The same recording that uh, um, is going to be done, uh, inshallah, ta'ala, it will be um, sent to you by tomorrow because all the recording will be done automatically. Okay. So now, as I said, it is just not possible for me to have 200 people in this mastermind group. Uh, so once again, my request to all of you is uh, just to limit to yourself to be in my mastermind group, one. And uh, number two, you have to make your own mastermind group. Now, this is important. If you are in the same city, it is much easier. But if you have people around the world, around the country, then it becomes difficult. Then you have to use the technology. So my first suggestion for you all is to have your own mastermind group who all are in your team or not in your team. Now, one thing I'm looking at, I'm really uh, very happy. There are three different or four different people from four different groups. They have got together and they are in Dubai, they are in Sharjah, and they are in Ajman. Uh, uh, Shafiq, then we have got uh, Adnan, we have got Asif Tanoli, and we have got Khalid. Now, these four people I'm looking at, uh, their growth in the last three, four months. Now, what has happened is, I'm just giving you the example, I mean, they are from different groups, but they have joined hand together and they are helping each other and all of them are improving. So that, that is the power of the mastermind that, you know, if if I know something and you know something, so we combine our knowledge, our experience and we put it, put it uh, to action. Now, if I um, not so good in presentation and uh, Wafa is very good in presentation. So what happens is once we join a uh, hand, so I'm going to take help. It is just not possible to uh, go to the higher up and get the uh, help from uh, your higher up upline success leaders. So whosoever you think 
is uh, you know having a knowledge you can invite that person in your team or outside your team so you you have understood that that it is not necessary your own team members should be in the mastermind it can be from different group also so your task is uh, i'm not going to uh, monitor you need not send it to me you have your own mastermind group and you should meet at least once in a month some place it can be in your house in their house uh, in any place you know which is neutral uh, but preferably not in the uh, dxn office because there are a lot of things happening over there but if you meet at a time when there is not of not lot of rush then this is good enough so that is your task number 1 to make your own mastermind group so as i said earlier that i am going to cut down uh, this number uh, for the next one for example uh, let's take wafa wafa you have roshan and you have got so many people sajjad and all so i would like you uh, to be the uh, a mastermind group leader so similarly i'll have uh, in different group i'll go through all this list of people who are here and then uh, i'm going to just uh, select uh, those people and uh, and have them in the mastermind coaching from next week onward so now you have understood what is the purpose of the mastermind is to you know collectively uh, you know join hand and uh, our in dxn for example our main uh, focus and purpose is on health wealth and of course happiness now there are a lot of people uh, who are still learning about the benefits of the pro product the gannotherapy aspect of it and there are a lot of people who know a lot so in your group there should be one person who should be a uh, Uh, you know expert in gannotherapy but that is the core of our our business product you have to become a product of the product if there is any problem you just join um, in that group and you ask how to use the product what are the benefit of the product so that that is one part the second part is of course which is a challenging part those people who have joined uh, uh, the dxn business their business you know the moment you join it starts going up and then it kinds of stagnates levels of and then most of the cases i've seen it is going down most of the cases most of the time and they don't know what's happening i mean uh, if i'm all by myself and uh, there's nobody to tell me then of course i don't have the answer to the challenges that i'm having so this group is going to help you and it can be again your upline downline anybody all across okay so you remember in my business leadership uh, i use uh, uh, three words what was that l e t now you all are uh, already decided to do the exchange you have the mind uh, to become an entrepreneur you have decided to become an entrepreneur that's very good so the ltt stand for what can i have some answers all those who attended my business leadership camp l is to learn t is to talk t is to teach or train so once again you know there are a lot of people who are in the business for 5 years 10 years mashallah they have the complete knowledge learning is perfect now there is another very important part of mastermind this group that you have the learning part is just 10% 90% is action 90% is momentum now there is encouragement there is inspiration there is motivation with that group so you get stuck you go to that person who is more successful and you ask it 
I'm having this problem. So that person kind of tells you, okay, this is what you need to do. So the action part that we have in our business is lacking. And that is the reason why there is not so many people who are successful. Now, the there is a beautiful book I would like you to buy, The Seven Habits of Highly success, Successful People. Written by, can you just write the answer? Who has written this beautiful book? The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'm sure, Hatemiya, you would be knowing Stephen Covey. Lashan is, uh, mashallah, I just met this uh, young guy in Morocco. He's just a member. Uh, by the way, uh, Wafa, uh, uh, this uh, Moroccan uh, uh, young superstar is uh, uh, in your team, by the way, just would like to t let you know and you can get connected later. Anyway, so now I would like all those who have read the book, there are seven habits. Can you write the habits in the same order as he has given? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Num number one. Ibrahim, welcome. Uh, we have got another gentleman from uh, Jordan who has just recently joined. And uh, number one is very good, proactive, but the right word is be proactive. Be. You have, the B is the action, just not proactive. Be pro proactive. That is number one. Okay, if you cannot give me in the same order, just just tell me, just write it, whatever is coming in your mind. These are very, very important. So it is be proactive is number one. Number two. Number two is begin with end in mind. Whatever you want to do, you want to become a crown ambassador. All right. Now, that is your target. So you begin with end in mind and then come back and you are just a member like this. Our two friends who are just joined, uh, one from Jordan, Ibrahim, and the other guy's lesson, uh, they, they, they are both members. So you have to keep in mind that you need to become a crown ambassador and what you need to do. So the, you have to begin with, with end in mind. And number three is highly powerful. And that is where most of the people are you know, lacking in the skill, you have to put first thing first. You have to put first thing first. And in my leadership camp, if you remember all those who joined, I put something in front of all seven habits, what Stephen Covey had written. First thing first is prioritization. There are certain things which are urgent. There are certain things which are important. There are certain things which are not urgent. There are certain things which are not important. And there are certain things which is all waste of time. So number three point is put first thing first. Number four point is think when, when. It cannot be more apt than DXN business. You cannot win alone. You need how many people? Six people to become a star diamond. And when they become star diamond, you become triple diamond. When you have five diamond, you become crown diamond. And when you have 20 diamonds, you become crown ambassador. That is the ultimate. Now, you have to ensure that this, let's take 10 lines of yours. And if you are a beginner, let's take only six lines of yours. If these six become star agent or star diamond, they are winning and you are also winning. 
This is called a uh, win-win. It, the example, of course, uh, Stephen Covey did not have the six or ten lines. He just gave a, a generic type of, type of a formula. But you apply that formula into the excellent business, your business. You want to help people. And uh, there are people who need a health benefit. So what do you do? So you reach out and find their problems, give their solution with our preventive food supplements. They are not medicine. So what you are doing is you're helping that guy. And when that guy or that woman gets health benefit, what happens? She's happy, you're happy. Now here, it is not a question of money. Here is the question of just going out and reaching out to the people and helping them, helping them. That is the ultimate, of course. So number four is win-win. Number five is, you know, I've seen a lot of our very experienced diamonds and super diamonds. When they have that much of knowledge, then they are talking and talking and talking and there is no end to it. Now, what he says is, first seek, seek to first understand, seek first to understand and then to be understood. That is listen and talk. Seek first to understand means keep on listening, keep on listening. How do you do that? by not interrupting, by asking a very simple question. Because what is what is natural approach? To find the problem of people. How do you find the problem of the people? Not by you talking. We have got the best product. We have the product which is giving health benefit. We have got the system which gives the money. But don't talk about that. Find out their problems. So, ask question and then try to listen seek first to understand that person understand that that problem of that person and then give solution that is then to be understood you want to say something you want him or her that they understand you so what we do is we the moment we come across our prospect we start talking about dxn and about the product and health and fantastic product and the money and show the check and talk about the success story he is not interested at all on all that so that is number five number six is what we are doing right now synergize what we are doing right now in this mastermind is we have all gathered people with the same objective, same purpose, health, wealth, and happiness. That is a vision of the XN. And if you have the same vision, main vision, and then you can have, you know, the other uh, details of that. So the number six is this type of group, your own, the six team members that you have, whom you are trying to make them star agent, star diamond. You all should be moving in the, in the same direction. Purpose is the same. Everybody would like to get health benefit. Everybody would like to get money benefit. How do you do that? You cannot do it alone. If you are there, you need the six people and, and they should get their six people. And then it goes on and on and on. So number six is synergize. And number seven, sharpen the saw. Now, I've got two people. Just I'm giving you an example. They have got the same skill, same age, and they are given 10 trees to cut. So one goes to, and, and the size of the tree, the diameter of the tree is also the same. One cuts two trees and the other cuts 
10 trees. They got the same saw, same age, same, you know, skill to cut. The, what happened? You see, once you are cutting, the saw, the blade of the saw gets dull. You need to sharpen it. The guy who cut 10 trees kept on after cutting every tree, he used to sharpen the saw. And this is upgrading yourself, learning more, applying more. Where you see the moment I, I, I give the another example, if the glass is full, then that arrogance has come. I've seen again, you know, some people who are not even a diamond and they have got that arrogance because he's a doctor or an engineer or a teacher or whatever. So sharpen the saw is that you keep on improving the knowledge and at the same time the skill. Skill is needed. So now in this group there are tasks that I'm going to give you and you need to you know complete that task. I would like you all to buy this book in your own language and next time when we meet I would like you to you know go through this book. This is one of the must book that you need to uh, get. And I, I'm sure in every city you can get and in your own language also. It has been translated in so many languages and it is sold to 15 million copies. Can you imagine that? Anyway, there are a lot of people who are struggling to give presentation. You know, this is another uh, very important area. So I would like you to join Toastmaster. Now let me write that word. Every city, every toast, like a toast master. If you are uh, good in uh, giving presentation, you need not. But if you join, what is happening? I know some people in Europe, uh, I told them to go ahead and join. And from the Toastmaster group, they made about four or five members. Toastmaster, they improve your presentation skills. So there is a group who are your level. There is a group which is a high level. And then there's a group who are about to graduate. And I've seen some people, they send their children at the age of 10 or 12 to Toastmaster. Because these are the skills which are not taught in schools and colleges. This you have to learn. You have, you have to acquire this. And those who are good in presentation, definitely those are the people who are going to go higher and higher up in the DXN business also. The other task I'm going to give you is, uh, is every city, every area has got a networking group. If you just go health and wellness networking group, entrepreneur group, single mom group. There are professional and there are not so professionals. So whatever group that you think is right for you, you join that group. This is how you are increasing your circle of influence. You know, it is not only that you are going to prospect those people, but you are going and presenting yourself because these groups, whatever groups, uh, we have got a lot of groups in Dubai. But I have yet to see people taking advantage of those groups. They are not one. There are, God knows, in hundreds. So whatever group which is close to your heart, which you love, if you like painting, join that group. You like to play guitar, join that group. There are, you know, community groups. There are religious groups. There are fun groups. There are hobby groups. There are travel groups. So whether you are living in Islamabad or whether you are living in Casablanca or in Bangalore or Dubai, any place, we have got people from all over the world right now. 
so you go you see now internet you, you have got connection to all these groups some groups you need to pay some groups are free internation this is one group where i'm seeing from last over 10 years there are who are joining this group and they are getting help from those groups again this is a kind of a uh, you know they they put you into a certain group this is again a, a a concept of a mastermind you like to be in that group okay you can go into that group health and wellness we are part of the we are we are ambassador of health and wellness join that group why because one day they'll tell you or you volunteer yourself to give a talk on what talk on health and wellness and i'm giving you a lot of tasks i've told you to get the book and i'm telling you to join some group and in that group you have to tell me this time i'm talking next session i would like you to participate i would like uh, i'm have taken almost about uh, 40 45 minutes um the other task i would like you to have is do you have a vision do you have a vision your own uh, um life vision or which is connected with the xn most of that vision just do not make it just like that i was hearing one very nice uh, audio by one of the student of stephen covey and he was giving the example of when you're driving your car in the road and suddenly you see a fog where you can see about 30 feet and then you go deeper and then it becomes 20 feet and then it becomes 10 feet and finally it is just beyond you can't see beyond your car's bonnet even so what is actually happening your vision is completely impaired what do you do you slow down you are careful you are fearful and sometimes you would like to you know slam on the brake and you are afraid if you slam on the brake somebody is going to come and hit you from the back or there is a car in front so what actually has happened in this uh, foggy road and you are driving all alone two o'clock in the morning you're all by by yourself you are kind of afraid lost this is just a very crude example but in life this is exactly what is happening if you don't have vision you have to have a clear vision and then what happens after 10 minutes the fog clears what do you do you accelerate everything is clear and then you drive not at five kilometers or 10 kilometers per hour you go 100 kilometers per hour so do you see the the difference between having a vision and no vision this example is crystal clear you need to have a very clear vision from vision comes the target that you want to meet which is called goal again in my leadership workshop i spoke about the number one leadership quality is vision and number two was your goal what you need it you know in your life the vision statement can be just one or two or three that's it goal you can have different and then comes the what values is so dear to you value means what is the high priority in your life health is number one of course and in most of us most of the people their family is number two or they are both 
equal. Sometimes family comes first. Now, what you need to do, you know, in order to have that healthy relationship, this is talking about, you know, the prioritization in life. Your health, your family is very, very important. But for that, you need, you need money. Only yesterday, I was talking to the group of uh, people in charge of it, and I was saying that, you know, happiness is and the health is nowadays very much directly proportional to the money that you have in your hand. That much of money that you are not asking for from somebody. I'm not talking about having millions of dollars. That money where you are getting as a residual income. And no better place than DXN to get a residual income. Financial freedom, the definition, please note it down. What is financial freedom? Your residual income is more than your expenditure. For example, your expenditure is $1,000. And you are getting the money from some place where it is $1,500 dollars nothing to worry we are not talking about fifteen thousand dollars we are not talking about millions of dollars you are at peace of mind in the job of course you have to that's not a residual income by the way if you are having a shop or you're running a business that's not a residual income the beauty of dxn business is that you are getting after three to five years residual income not one not two i've seen dozens of people who are alhamdulillah getting residual income from the xn business no need to be dependent upon job no need to depend upon whatever the small business they are doing it and from that whatever hours they were putting about four or five hours now they can put eight hours or ten hours and get that residual income higher and higher so on the other task which I'm going to give it to you is that you write your vision. Keep it for yourself. You sit down with your wife, with your parents, with whosoever very close to you. Write what is the vision. And, and for me, the, the vision of DXN is so apt, so true. Health is important, wealth is important, and happiness is important. And of course, for most of us, family is also very important. Write your goal, long term, short term. And write different goals. My health goal, my money goal, my relationship goal, whatever goal you want to have, have, have write it down. And then what values are really important for you? Now in DXN, the high priority that you're gonna give is action. Again, mastermind group is for getting that momentum, getting that few people together to go forward. What we need to do every day, we need to talk to people. We need to first find people, find people, find their problems. So the natural approach is basically just not finding the problem. You find a problem and then you ask that, is that person ready to come out of the problem? And then you qualify that person. This is important before you start the presentation. We are talking too much, too fast, too early. Too much, they don't want. And we are talking too early than what they need at this time. And once they join, then it is your duty to make sure that they become successful.